Hey everyone, this is Dylan Dixon, and I'm here today to show you guys how to connect a chat GTP API to a Google Sheet. And this will help you just process different data or leverage chat GTP within the Google Sheet itself. And it's really convenient for uh, different use cases. The use case I'm gonna focus on today is actually doing this for listing data. So like a, one of my real estate clients, one of their biggest issues they told me is that they uh, they frequently have to write listings like uh, for different different houses or properties and that takes up a lot of time. So I'm gonna try to automate that using ChatGTP within this integration. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me share my screen. So this is just a look at the data set. set. It's just some dummy data for some listings, uh, just different aspects that are tracked in listings for uh, different properties. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is go to extensions. So we're gonna need extensions to bring in API to uh, Google Sheets. And we can search, obviously, there's already one right there, but DTP, there's quite a few different ones, but the one I like to use is this one right here, for Sheets and Got Docs by, uh, I don't even know how to say that, I'm probably going to butcher it, but I'll say it anyways, Tallarine, not sure, shout out to them, welcome for the free promo. Uh, so I'm going to install this, but I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you guys don't see all my information for my Google account. Install, continue. You know, I like does like the two factor authentication thing. I don't need you guys seeing all that. Allow. And okay, let me share my screen again. Cool. So added all that in. There's a few notes, but you can look at that if you want to. I'm not going to. And so now that we see that, uh, it's asking for you to enter uh, an API key from OpenAI. So uh, if you don't have an API key already installed, you have to uh, get that from OpenAI, and there's like a whole process to do that. I don't have a video on that, but someone else might. But uh, once you have the your API set up, you actually just go to uh, platform.openai.com, overview, go to the right-hand corner, personal, then view API keys. And then what you can do, I have a few API keys for some other projects I've been working on. Uh, but what you can do is create a new sticker key. Uh, I'll say to video testing. And I'll create a sticker key, copy that, done. Now I can go here, paste the key in there. Next. Let that load in there. So it gives you a few prompts on like what you can do disclaimers, examples, blah, blah, blah. I definitely recommend checking them out in your free time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do, I already have a prompt created. So you can use like freestyle text, like just how you type in to open AI or to GTP. So what you do is you have to enter, you type in equals. And then if you start off with GTP, there's a bunch of different uh, prompts or functions. Oh, excuse me, GPT. There's a bunch of different prompts and functions that they have in here. I don't know what they all do, but the one I'm going to use, I'm just going to put it in bars and then put it in quotes and then type in the phrase I want to do. So what I'm going to do is say, write a listing description for a house based on the info in this row. And we like to keep uh, listing description short. So I'm going to say, only use 100 words or less. And then to make it look in that row, this is one part that took me a long time and there was no video on it. So that's why I was like, oh, let me just make a video for this, is to like make it for a specific row, you just hit the comma and then now add in the rows. So I don't remember what this is. So we'll say it's A, column A to column. A, B, so A, two, column A, B, oops. Actually, no, that works anyways. A, B, two, and add that in. I'll press enter. And let's see what it pulls in. Takes a second to process, cool. Let me wrap this so you guys can actually see it. Wrap. 
Ooh, that's ugly. Drag this over, drag it over a little bit more. Drag this over, probably should get rid of this little tool thing. Can we drag it over somewhere? Okay, cool. I'm glad I wasted 30 seconds on that. So it gives you a quick summary of the house and it's under 100 words. And I feel like this is pretty cool. Maybe I could use some more advanced prompting to, to explain it. And it's breaking down all the information that was included in here that it thought that would be most important. So it's like reading the column names and all that. And what's best about this is I can just drag this down to the other rows. And if the Lord is willing, it will update the formula. So yeah, you see that this is column, this is uh, row three. So now it updated the formula to row three and does it all pretty quickly. Like that was, I would say that's less than a minute, maybe even sooner. So you can easily get that right away. And this would be helpful to any like small real estate agency. I don't know if they even like, maybe people do this for a living, but I, I'm not really sure. But this will be able to help you out and save time, save money if you're spending a lot of money doing this or if you're spending a lot of time doing this quick and easy. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about this. Feel free to add them in the comments. And I'm open to exploring other use cases for this as well too. And uh, I, for my consulting businesses, it's called uh, Think Technologies. I'll add a link to the Instagram, the LinkedIn, all that stuff in the bio. Also add my personal uh, Instagram in there too. And, you know, never, never too much clout. But remember, like and subscribe. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Take care.